Okay, now Lucy's going to speak. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for giving up your evening to come this evening and talk about parking. Um, there's widespread agreement among residents and politicians in Cambridge that traffic and transport issues are the biggest and most important challenge for our city. Cambridge is the fastest growing city in the UK, it's probably the fastest growing city in Europe. Um, and while that might be good news for the Chancellor and for jobs and the UK economy, it's not always good news for residents. Um, it presents enormous problems for the local authorities who are trying to let, deal with that level of growth. Um, to meet that challenge, I think it's absolutely crucial that we have really, really high quality consultation with residents and with the numerous experts we have in this city um, on how to solve these problems. And I am enormously grateful to Edward for all the work he's put in over the last couple of years um, thinking about potential solutions um, to our transport problems. I agree with probably about 90% of what he was talking about earlier, but, but I don't, I'm afraid, share Mark's massive optimism um, about being able to do things quickly or being able to find easy solutions, because actually all the solutions that are available have downsides and have problems attached to them. It's not easy to um, improve our transport infrastructure or change our parking rules. All of these things have different impacts on different groups in the population. And just as a really quick um, example which is really close to home for me, the parking on Adams Road that Edward mentioned, I cycle down Adams Road twice a day to bring my daughters to school here. Um, I happen to know that an awful lot of the people who park on Adams Road for free at the moment are the market traders. Um, so actually, if you suddenly remove the free parking on Market Road, you on Adams Road, you have a big impact on our market. Mm -hmm. And we just have to, all of these little things that we try and change, they have an impact on something, somebody else. And that's why it's not easy, and it really isn't easy. Um, it was a massive achievement by Julian Huppert and Tim Bick to get the um, uh, investment that the City Deal has brought to this city. Um, it's it's absolutely crucial we got that investment. It was really difficult to get that level of investment and that promise out of an austerity government. So they had a huge achievement there. Mm. But the delivery of the city deal since that money was promised has been incredibly disappointing. Um, and I know that there are some quite good reasons why that has been the case, but there are also some very bad reasons. Um, one of which is that the city deal board made a really bad start by ignoring the re recommendations of the Assembly. So the first meeting of the City Deal Board, there were a whole lot of schemes in there asking for rural cycle routes, and the City Deal Board just ignored them. Um, so the City Deal Board started in a bad place in terms of consultation and in terms of listening to people. Um, and there's been a lot of um, anger about that, and Tim Bick, who's now the chair of the Assembly, has gone some way towards changing the attitude he instigated a process this year called the Call for Evidence, where he asked for interested people like Edward and other experts across the city to bring their ideas to the Assembly so that everybody's ideas could be considered. And I think that was really important, and I think we need to continue that process. And there are now a lot more ideas being talked about. I was at a meeting earlier on this, no, last week now, um, with a group called Cambridge Connect who are talking about the, um, the possibility of using light rail and how much it would cost and where we could find the money. And again, this is where um, I'm afraid I need to disagree with Mark. The city deal money sounds like a huge amount of money. Um, we've got £100 million to spend in the next five years um, on the city deal. That is a huge amount of money. Actually, when you're trying to build transport infrastructure, it doesn't go that far. So it's one little bit of light rail from the end of Huntingdon Road into the station across fields and with a tunnel underneath was predicted by um, Cambridge Connect as costing half a billion pounds. <laughs> so we just don't have that money. Um, so a huge amount of finding the transport solutions is going to be about how we can best use the um, not enormous quantities of money that we have available, and that's why, one of the reasons why it's so difficult. Um, one um, way of thinking about that is that there are some options, and the workplace parking levy is one, congestion charging is another, um, increased on-street costs of parking and more residence parking. All of those things bring in income streams, which then allow the councils 
to invest in more services. And one of the things that I feel that we desperately, desperately need is a subsidised bus service, which we don't have at the moment. The bus service at the moment is entirely privately run. It's only profit making. And I think we really, really need to look at how we can get income streams in so that we can subsidise the bus service, so that we can make the bus service run in the way that residents want it to run rather than the way Stagecoach wants it to run, which is how it is at the moment. Um, another possible thing to think about in terms of improving the bus service um, and something that the Liberal Democrat group on the county worked really hard at and failed to persuade our Conservative colleagues of was a thing called Quality Bus Partnerships which is trying to bundle the routes together and franchise them so that you can say, yes, you can run this profitable route, but only if you run these other unprofitable bits as well. And that's effectively what happens with Transport for London. The devolution deal for Cornwall is allowing Cornwall Council to look into doing that more, and I think that we need to be looking to do that by the city as well. I'm out of time. <laughs> okay, very happy to answer questions later.